building Clifton, you kind of have one opportunity. Clifton is like an in-between zone. You have a very strong relationship to the mountain, which is quite primal. And then you look the other way to the coastline, and that's also beautiful and primal. I like buildings to have a certain sensuality to them, to have certain surprises in them. And, and this house has, I think, a lot of delight in it. I'm like a barefoot person. I, I like tactility, I like rawness, primal aspect to things. This house, more than anyone, are treated as the kind of experimental home. Offshot of concrete, raw basic finishes, timber that has been pickled in the casting process and using that on a ceiling. People use the word luxury, but it means very different things to different people. For me, it's all about volume and space and light and transparency and views. As architects, we have to design for the light. You put your heart into it because we are the dreamers. We have to have the big dream and you got to stick to it and you got to fight for it. Architecture for me is very emotive. That's why I enjoy it so much and that's why I keep on doing it and I have its hunger for it. special projects where I go to sleep at night dreaming about the project. I wake up in the morning, my mind is full of new ideas and I want to jump out of bed and carry on working. To wake up enthusiastic for the project you're working on, wow, what a blessing.